Hey everybody, it's Mr. Bullock again, and this rec uh, this uh, lesson, geometry lessons on rhombi's, rectangles, and squares. Oh my! Uh, don't forget, I go fast, so you're going to have to pause it where you need to if you want to write things down uh, or rewind if you want to hear it again. Okay, so here we go. Um, uh, definitions: A rhombus is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. So you want to see the the video on parallelograms first. Uh, for this one to make any sense. Okay, so here's a rhombus you guys four congruent sides right there It's like a square being squished over. Okay a square is a rhombus also A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. So there's four right angles right there Okay, a square is a rhombus and a rectangle together. So there's a rhombus and a rectangle together four right angles and four congruent sides Okay, so draw a Venn diagram that represents all this stuff. All right. Well, there it is right there You got your parallelograms covers everything and under the parallelograms, you have rhombis in one, you have rectangles in another, and where they overlap is your squares. Okay, uh, so here's some theorems about this. A parallelogram is a rhombus. Remember, IFF means if and only if. If and only if uh, its diagonals are perpendicular. So it's a rhombus when the diagonals are perpendicular. Okay, so these four sides are congruent if, if these diagonals make a right angle right there. All right. So it's rhombus if the diagonals make a right angle. Parallelogram is also a rhombus if and only if the diagonals bisect a pair of opposite angles. So here, see the diagonals here, the, it bisects these two congruent angles and makes these two congruent angles over here. All the angles are congruent. So these two guys are congruent and these two guys are congruent. This diagonal right here is bisecting these two angles right there. Okay? Uh, a parallelogram is a rectangle if and only if its diagonals are congruent. So here I have uh, this rectangle if AC is congruent to uh, BD. Okay, uh, then the, if it's a, romp, a rectangle, then the diagonal is congruent. Okay, so classify this special quadrilateral and explain your reasoning. All right, this one is definitely a rhombus. It's not anything else because of that 70 degree angle. That 70 degree angle, if it was a 90, it would be a square. But it's not a 90, so it's a rhombus. All the sides are congruent. All right, so, uh, okay. So classify, uh, again, the special quads, and then find X and Ys. Okay, so here we go again. Looks like we have another rhombus right there, because that's not a right angle right there. And so the rhombus means uh, uh, that this side equals this side. Look, all these tick marks right here means it's a rhombus. So 3Y equals Y plus 8. And then, uh, so let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. 3Y equals Y plus 8. So then I subtracted Y to get 2Y equals 8. Okay, and then Y equals 4. And then over here, uh, these consecutive angles are supplementary. So I, X is the rest of the 180. So I just did 180 minus 104 and got 76. Okay. All right, here, uh, this is a rectangle happening. So rectangles, um, uh, so what I'm going to do is set um, this side equal to this side and top equal to bottom here. So I have um, uh, uh, that right there. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract X on both sides on this guy. Whoops, I went a little bit too far. Let me take that back. And uh, my mouse, my finger, I'm on a laptop here. And then so I, I added 9 to both sides and then I'm going to divide by 4 uh, over here. Uh, sorry, I'm going a little ahead of myself. I subtracted 2y on both sides and subtracted 5 on both sides. And so we get to that stage right there and you get x equals x equals 20 and y equals 15. All right, okay, so here we go. Rectangle G-O-M, G-O-M, is not shown. Uh, has dimensions 3 inches by 4 inches. Find the sum of the lengths of the diagonals. Well, let's go ahead and draw that guy. There's my rectangle. Geom, and they have to go in order, you guys. It has to either go clockwise, G E O M, or it has to go counterclockwise. I always choose clockwise. It has dimensions three by four. Whoops, I put a little too many eyes in there. Uh, okay, and then so here's a diagonal. They want to know what's the sum of the diagonals right there. So I'm not going to draw the other diagonal, it gets too confusing, but they want to know uh, what's G O plus M E. Remember, they're congruent to each other. So once I find this guy right here, then I know the other guy. Whoops. Uh, they're congruent to each other. Let me take that back there. All right, so um, uh, there's a right angle because it's a rectangle, and you guys should know by now uh, your Pythagorean triples. And if you don't, I made a video on P triples, Pythagorean triples. Check that out. It's a really, it really fine tunes your P triples skills on that. It really does. So check that one out. So it's a three, four, five right triangle. So if that guy's five, the other diagonal is five. So five plus five equals ten. All right, one more. Okay, a rhombus. 
not shown has a side length five and one diagonal six find the length of the other diagonal well let's draw that rhombus right there there's the side length five it's a rhombus so all sides are equal and one of the diagonals is six so before i draw this other diagonal going up here it's going to cut that six in half it's going to bisect it and make it three and three but we're going to look for the length of this other diagonal right here all right so remember it cuts that six into three and three remember rhombies you guys they have perpendicular diagonals so it's a right angle and check it out you guys i got a right triangle right there again i got a three four five right triangle so if that side's four that side's four and the whole diagonal is eight